I am from a minority community. A lot of problems in uh, my life. The whole of Sri Lanka was backing me. And that gave me a lot of strength. You only had that charisma. And if you want to say something to play, you will take it alone and go and say to him. Magic for India, not for me. <laughs> I was I was a little bit devastated because when he lost, my hero was every every time is Vivian Richards. Virat Kohli is the best batsman because proven statistically and everything and he's the best. Nobody thought 96 we will win the World Cup. We were underdogs. Nobody even think about it in qualifying even. In 1995, I had a lot of problems in uh, my life because of this cricket uh, chucking episode went. Then all Sri Lankan people, like without a race, I am from a minority community, but thinking about, not of thinking about the race or anything, but civil war is going still. But for a cricketer, they loved me and they all supported me. So then I have to do something for them after that. Because of that only I got over my problems and went to test and I uh, got over because of their strength and they gave uh, hope to me. Uh, so I have to do something for them. So we started a foundation of goodness in uh, 1998 with my manager and her friend uh, Ashan Mallasekhar. Oh. So that is done a lot of work in uh, Sri Lanka and um, 2018 uh, we uh, uh, for that foundation uh, Venkat Prabhu and Sripati and few other friends came to Sri Lanka to visit the foundation and try to help uh, needy people something from their side to contribute they have gone there Great. so when they gone saw my pictures and everything I'm a founder member and everything so he asked about me because Venkat Prabhu is um, a childhood friend of my wife because they lived close by in Aryapuram in Chennai. So uh, then uh, he wanted to visit our place. They came and then I showed all the trophies and everything and we had a chat. So you know Venkat Prabhu is very fond of cricket and he has taken a Chennai 28 movie. It's very big hit in uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. So he asked me about the biopic. He only asked me about the biopic. Okay. Uh, then I was a little reluctant and my manager forced me to say, okay, if you do that, you will get some help for the foundation. So uh, give the permission to them. That's why it happened. So why you are reluctant to do for your biopic? Because I am well known, I am retired. I have achieved what I wanted in cricket. And I was... Uh, uh, mentoring and uh, coaching uh, uh, Sunrise Hyderabad. I'm happy, I'm involved two months, I'm doing my business. I'm very happy and I think everyone knows me and everything. No need to go more fame. So why do you want to put a movie instead of me? Because I didn't think uh, that uh, to do that because it is way of, I lived in a very uh, low life because I didn't want to go and more and more to do in life. So, because I played 20 or, see, from childhood, from 8 to, right, till 37 professionally and 42 till IPL, I played. So, it's long career and I miss my family as well because when you're playing, your son growing, your daughter growing, you won't see. So, I don't want to miss that. Mm -hmm. So, I want to have the family life because uh, make sure that I have to, uh, be, be, be for the smaller ones and for the wife because it is family end of the day I can't be selfish and do it. so another thing coming and like you know another thing I'm going to in so that's why I only do IPL only take I have been asked a lot of places to come and coach come and do this do that but I only take IPL because that also uh, very good friend uh, Sun TV um, Mr. Maran and everything I know for a long time and the CEO Shanmugam also is a best friend of mine. So to them to come and help them, I agreed and I enjoy that stint to be involved in cricket. That's why other than that, nothing else. When the Sripati narrated the story, so what was your contribution to the script? See, uh, I'm my Sripati uh, narrated the story, he stayed with us for two years. Okay almost one and a half to two years okay. because Sripati was at the time he was the assistant director so Venkat Prabhu told him to go and write the story 
so before that he was supposed to do a film to sir right so sir gave the permission okay you go and do and come back so he was thinking he will write only the story and come back to him and do his movie um, so what happened was some problem had with venkat prabhu after one 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 year one something then uh, they split up both uh, the production house and the both left okay so then sripati i told because you direct it you finish the story and direct it then he got sir's blessing okay. and then only so sripati uh, the in the script i told one thing has to be there it has to be true things no because of cinema you can put ad things right and make it beautiful but i don't want it's a biopic i want a biopic to be what happened the story should be and can you make a story out of my life a good story can you make it a true story what? so that's what i asked and i read the script about five times i have not seen the movie as so in the trailers so i uh, liked it and also whatever they are it is not manipulated or anything it is true story because you know you can't put everything you know uh, they would have shot i think 5 hours or 6 hours of uh, maybe 10 hours i think i don't know they will know how much uh, as how much the shooting has taken but when editing everything comes and the film has to be like no nobody wants to watch 5 hour movie like it's be a documentary so you have to come at about 2 and 1/2 hours this will be the nicest movie like you know you can't more, go more than that and luckily sir helped to sripati to trim the movie to about 2 hours and 35 minutes so it is uh, so i didn't get involved so professionally i let them do their job okay. but i was keeping on i it has to be a story mother murlidhar's life is lot of pain emotions mm-hmm. controversies yeah. murlidhar's uh, character is the more weight weighted so yeah. when this offer came to you mm. what was your thought par- process i mean i was elated first of all uh, and then very soon that was replaced by a lot of anxiety because uh, the responsibility of making sure you justify this opportunity um, you know playing such an iconic person's character in, in his biopic is it, it's it's a good amount of responsibility on your shoulders so um, yeah i was i was a little apprehensive and nervous as well but when i went to meet sir in chennai the first time just for a day you know he's a busy before man before the shoot yeah before the shoot i was a little nervous and i was blabbering and i think so so sensed it so he put me at ease by uh saying just take a deep breath and trust yourself and uh, just do your best and simple words because he's a man of few words but what that did was take a little bit of the pressure off me and i said okay you know these people are all on my team and um, the opportunity of of doing something like this doesn't come very often in one's life even though i have done a few sports films before so when they said sports film i wasn't very interested but as soon as sir's name came up you know i was 100% in because we've all grown up watching and admiring this man from afar and now to be in such close quarters and not just close quarters but getting to play his character in in the film is is a tremendous opportunity so when when you look at the uh, murli dharan sir hmm. there are two typical body languages when i observe hmm. one is uh, in uh, ground there is a typical body language and yeah. behaving hmm. and when it comes to off the ground there is a humble character will say it reminds so, me of people like uh, mr sachin tendulkar or michael jackson or people like that who were very humble and 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 uh, shy is not the right word but uh, it takes time for them to open up to some people i guess and but when they are on the battlefield be it the stage or in case of sir uh, the playing field they just transform into these warriors and uh, i i have I mean I wouldn't like to equate myself in any way to sir but and I have a little bit of that in me in the sense that I'm not very um, I'm a little bit shy normally I don't I take time to open up but on the film set I'm I'm very confident that's my jungle so I can really relate to sir on on that and um, 
yeah that was great to to try to play that dichotomy was uh, was really interesting so when uh, murli dharan in on the ground it he is like a cheetah short yeah. wise body is very the furious energy, yes the intensity yeah so how you cope up with that kind of so i language? i obviously you know i was aware of his on field persona very much uh having seen almost you know every match he played against india at least and also some other matches i have and then when i got the film i i started watching all the video archives available on youtube and online basically everything that was available i drank it all up and um, and then i was very very lucky to have the support of my director uh, ms shripati my captain and uh, like sir said you know he was with sir in sri lanka for almost 2 years and uh, did immense amount of research really in depth research about things that even sir was not aware of some things yes you know some things in your life happen uh, that are behind your back when you're not in the room so you don't know exactly what went on and so i, I depended heavily on ms shripati and his guidance to to get the right meter to play sir so a credit goes to you know the whole this inc- incredible crew that i had around me supporting me and uplifting me to to get this right as an actor body language will be uh, easy for you to uh, make ah, it okay yeah then Nothing the bowling easy. action hmm. the what kind of preparation you do so i had a, uh, i was provided with a bowling coach uh, i was filming something else another show before the start of our film so uh after pack up i would come in the evening or in the night time and practice 2 3 hours uh and then also in my own i would you know i had this ball and i would just try to keep because sir does this before he bowls and that even just before he bowls that thing also takes control <laughs> to get it right forget the bowling part before he starts bowling he does things that it takes time to uh you know get them right so yeah it, it took a bunch of time and effort of course and uh, i mean i hope we've come close enough in a sense to to make people feel like yes they are watching you know a shadow of uh, of mr murli there on screen great you mentioned yourself as a minority community in sri lanka so what makes you what is the motivation what is the inspiration to become a cricketer as a spinner see in childhood uh, i was uh, see we have um, four boys okay. in our family right i am the eldest so three other boys age gaps are two two like that okay. so between so when you're young a lot of people in the same house and my cousins also is a uh, netted family a lot of boys only boys are there so they thought too much problems for uh, parents to control and everything i'm a very naughty boy and then uh, what they said is age of 6 in anthony's uh, christian school they have 3500 students out of that hostel is about the boarding school about 600 students okay big big hostel big facilities and everything okay. there so age of 6 they put me in and uh, two boys uh, went to hostel one school in anthony's Uh, and two boys went from home to another school trinity college so from there you know uh, rules and regulations in a uh, christian school you have to get up at early morning 5:30 you have to wash your clothes you have to do everything study so many things and there is a play time okay. uh, around about after school 2 3 3 o'clock to 5:30 you have to time that time you can play anything we all play they call gali cricket you know the soft ball cricket yes. play that's why i uh, because all the boys are there you play teams together we divide teams together and play so that's why i got interest on cricket and then uh, as my coach first coach saw, saw me that time batting and bowling he was impressed on me and told me to come for uh, leather ball hard ball practice age of 7 7 so 8 8 i think so at the time only i started playing cricket so that's what uh, realized to play cricket because why you want to play cricket is for the school playing for school team is a big uh, proud moment for every child right so you well known then so so then so that's why i started okay so you you become a cricketer and when you faced the chucking allegations what was your pain and thought process at that time who supported most 
See, checking was 2005 okay. when it happened. So I never thought. I was shocked at the time, and uh, I didn't know what to do. So Arjun handled everything. I was uh, 21, 22 years old. Um, so Arjuna said, "Whatever I say, you do it." Just so I did it like that, and then um, after that, Arjuna and teammates so much support cricket board and whole of Sri Lanka was backing me that gave me a lot of strength to overcome because they are believing they are supporting me I should not give up I should overcome so we asked the ICC to one man can't decide a career of a, a person yes. you have to give a chance to prove themselves then only we went to test and everything they proved himself yes. and then continued. When you played uh, CSK, mm. so under the Dhoni leadership, so what was your experience? See, Dhoni was young when I was. I was a very senior player in international cricket. I was uh, more older to him. But Dhoni had that charisma, like, you know, a leader that even is young, is very intelligent. And how we want to go by that, he was very good. So he's very calm. And if you want to say something to a player, he will take it alone and go and say to him. In publicly, they won't do anything. So he doesn't shout at all anything. He's calm. He get annoyed sometimes. Then you will you will talk to personally to the person, what he expect from him. So that's the beauty of a quality he has. So he's very calm and everything. So when he um, in the field, when he uh, make sure that uh, when he bowls, uh, he gives a set of plan and say, uh, first he allow you to bowl what you want. And if everything goes right, he's happy. And someone, it's a sixer, will say, got a good ball. He will behind, he's encourage me. Okay, it's a good ball. The batsman plays a good shot. So you see most of the captain get a little bit upset. There's, those are the good qualities and he gives the uh, bowler to a chance to do this thing. And if not working, he will put a place and we have to do whatever he says. So I think uh, that qualities has made him a great captain. 2011 World Cup final is a memorable match between the India and Sri Lanka. That kind, that kind of magic will repeat in next World Cup? See, don't know because that one, see, is magic for India, not mm. for me. <laughs> I was, I was a little bit devastated because when he lost, but best team won. Uh, we have to congratulate India. But 2023 now it's work up. It's a different. See, it's all totally different. Different, different people, different people are playing, and also condition is same. And the belief that uh, Indians will support the team. So they have a better chance, but you have to, anyhow, you have to have a little bit of luck. That luck Dhoni had. So that luck, I think Rohit Sharma has to have. See, to win a World Cup, you need luck. You see, uh, last World Cup, New Zealand was England. They thought clearly New Zealand should have won. But how much luck turned and uh, yes. England won it? So, <laughs> you need the luck to win the World Cup. You can't ensure anybody can, anybody can win the World Cup. See, nobody thought 96, we will win the World Cup. We were underdogs, nobody even think about it in qualifying even. So, like that, some other team also can win. So, luck plays a big role in uh, these uh, pressure tournaments. So, you're part of the Hyderabad SRH. Mm -hmm. So, that team is playing uh, a little bit low in the IPL. What are the plans for the next IPL? See, the Hyderabad, the last last two three years only we have dropped down. Before that, yes. we played really well and yes. uh, and we won tournaments and we came finals and everything. But uh, unfortunately, uh, it is happens in cricket because you can't keep on winning. Like you know, some years you know, if you take Chennai, uh, last year they went. Year before they were last, or ninth or tenth, right? Am I right? Yes, so, yes. like that it happens. So, yes. we are uh, we are trying hard, owners are trying hard, we are trying hard, uh, players who buy, they are also trying hard. Sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I said there's a luck, mm. so we didn't have the luck for last two, three years. Hopefully, next one or two years, luck changes other way around and come to us. 
because everyone plays hard everyone trains everyone want to perform right uh, then the sustainability also there so everyone can win no so somebody has to be last somebody has to be winning so that the rotation will come then we'll have consistency only most important every every cricketer has a dream to bowl somebody do you have any unfulfilled uh, uh, desire to bowl somebody see i uh, always my hero was every every time is vivian richards okay i never bowled in a competition match with him but i bowled in a only few overs bowled in a charity match okay right in england when i played a charity for someone first time ever see why i like him is as a cricketer how much confidence self believe when you walking is when you walking into the field when you batting or bowling or going it's like i am the man it kind of a that nobody can pass through me i am going to be there you all beyond not beyond me like that attitude i never seen a cricketer like that so i always uh, made him self because i am a bowler but still i loved him so who is the best cricket, uh, batsman in the right now in the indian team see uh, right now everyone wants to say is virat kohli is the best batsman because proven statistically and everything and he is the best but there are young good players also rohit also very good so it's on the day who performs well but consistently definitely uh, virat oh. so can you share the uh, uh, your relation with the tollywood so see i don't have much you know, i am i am a big uh, movie uh, watch i watch all the movies i know everyone i was telling movies subtitle sometimes dub movies uh, because i have to understand sometimes i understand telugu but when they speak very quickly and little bit i miss it words here and there but if they play sorry when in some, in the movie it's <laughs> they go quicker so it's little bit harder to understand uh, so i use the subtitles and most of the time i use dub because these days now nowadays it's easier because most 90% of the big movies are coming pan india so they come in tamil they come in hindi in other languages also but those days they used to dub or uh, subtitle so i know everyone so i like to watch movies so uh, making a movie on me is something special because i didn't want it first but now only i realize how hard it is to make a movie it is not 5 years so much of battle i would like to thank uh, sripati uh and the team like you know I, there are so many people i don't want to name anyone everyone who are involved and thank you very much to bring into this stage and special thank to sir because to presenting to the public it is the most important thing you can make a movie also difficult but presenting to the public is even more harder so it is not easy because there are so many big movies are there you have to get it the theater uh, get into the theater is so hard and you know the platforms and everything so i am very much appreciate sri devi movies uh, sir krishna pradhat sir for coming and because he was from the start he was behind and is a well wisher for us he okay. was not, uh, from okay. the start itself because okay. sripati came through him right so whatever i knew because he has already given us uh, <laughs> some uh, project to giving me coming to do this project and it's a blessing it's a honor that is allowed him so i uh, i'm ser- seriously i am very very grateful to him to presenting is presenting is the hardest part and it's a, going to be a, a very uh, interesting movie it's a true story and it is not any masala is in that so and also even if you in i feel even if you somebody want to write a script a friction they won't get this movie <laughs> because it is it is like like remember everything in my life it has been like a movie script okay. it has been happen happen things so i think people will enjoy and hopefully everyone comes to a theater sen watch and enjoy and give your comment how it is and how my life is and some 
some people can some take uh, in, insp inspire by the movie after 800 movie is there any plans to enter into film making no 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 because see i only gave the rights the are these are the experts <laughs> so i am expert in cricket so coaching or uh, giving advice that i will do i do little bit of business that is my way of uh, film making is something like uh, i feel like i feel right it's you know um, you know gems when you get uh, gems in the it, you have to go so deep into the uh, underneath and sometimes you spend a lot of money on that but you won't get the gem okay. sometimes you go you go a little deeper you get the biggest gem in you in your life so move cinema is like that everyone thinks it will be successful they put a lot of time and effort and money and then when you go to public it's like a <laughs> luck is that some everyone will like some everyone don't like so it is a, it is a business that uh, the people who are producers uh, always not in a good terms because they always lose money sometimes they are lucky to be earning money or break even in life because people think so i am seeing from outside right people think okay these producers are very big money owners and everything no because they they struggle to they are their love of the uh, industry and love of the uh, movies they can't it is like uh, uh, they need that they are like addicted to that they can't get away from that so <laughs> that's why the movies are produced so um, see some are lucky and some are unlucky so that's where it happens so i don't want to get into that <laughs> trouble in my life i have the smooth life so much of turbulence in my life and now i got into a place that smooth and i don't want to get into another turbulence <laughs> trying to <laughs> produce movies anyhow uh, good luck for entire life uh, next coming future and for the movie okay nice thanks talking to you sir thanks. it's a great honor to speaking with you yeah, thanks thanks a lot okay.